What's going on guys? It's Will from TechBeat TV reporting in on some of the ridiculous televisions that I saw on CES 2012's show floor. First up is Samsung Super OLED television. As you can see, the color, um, the clarity, the visual effects, everything shows up beautifully on these televisions. But the thing that doesn't really stand out the most about these OLED televisions is the color, the accuracy, all that. But it's just how ridiculously thin these things are. When you stare at it from the side, you you really pretty much think that you don't need to use a vase mount or any type of television mount. Just take some 3N tape, put it on the back and tape it up because it's literally that thin, that light that you probably couldn't even use a screw because it would probably go right through the television itself. Um, next up is Sharp's size. Bigger, better lineup and it really is bigger. It is 80 inches. I mean that's just ridiculous and you can see the size comparison from the side and the other models that are next to it. You've got a 70 and a 60 inch as well. 80 inches, perfect um, size but it's at the consumer level now so hopefully it'll be a little bit cheaper. You've got bigger ones out there but they're DLP. Next up is the ICC 4K or 4K resolution TVs are kind of the other craze that's happening at CES 2012. Um, this particular one, ICC 4K that Sharp's showing off, upscales the 1080p signal. So you don't need a, a 4K resolution signal to come in. This television just upscales it, and the upscaling looks great. I mean, the clarity in comparison, this is probably not doing it justice, but if you look at the pictures, tone on skin color, all that stuff just looks unbelievable and realistic. Um, lastly, why not stop at 4K? Why don't we go all the way 8K? Sharp did that with the world's first 8K LCD. I mean, this thing was huge, and it looked like you were staring outside of a window. I mean, they did close-ups of people's faces. It, it really looked like they were just standing right there in front of me. Um, but again, no price tag on it that I know of, but just can think it's going to be really expensive. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, hit up that subscribe button. And then if you could also like and favorite the video, it would really help me out. And I'll catch you guys real soon with more CES 2012 coverage real soon. Later.